What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to link our AutoCAD drawing in Revit. So let's say, for example, we are going to use our CAD drawing as our guide for us to be able to create our own grids. Okay, so let, let's get this thing started. So I'm going to create a new project. So just click new. And then after that, we are going to select the template that we will be using here. In most company, they already have their company template ready to use. But in our case, so let's just use the uh, structural template. We are going to create a new project here. And then let's select here. OK. All right. Now, in order for you to place your CAD drawing in the project, you need to go to the Insert tab and then you actually have two options of placing CAD file in Revit. So the first one is link CAD, which is I prefer. So linking is similar to having an XREF in AutoCAD. So if you are familiar with external referencing in AutoCAD, so when the original link file changes, these changes are reflected if possible in the file when you reload the project. So in order for you to change or update your CAD drawing so you need to open that in AutoCAD modify save and then after that you reload that in Revit the other option here is import not a fan of import so it imports data or 3d geometry from other CAD programs to be uh, to a Revit model or family so sometimes I use import CAD but most of the time when setting up the project, I use link CAD, okay, which is what we are going to use link CAD. click that one. And then we are going to select our CAD drawing that we are going to import. So it's the same model. It's the same sample model that we are using. Okay. And then after that, before you open that or you double click or open that CAD drawing, you have an option here below several options so the first one here is current view only so that means if you if this one is checked so based from that wordings current view only you will be able to see the CAD drawing only on the current view so let's say for example you are on level two you'll be able to see this CAD drawing only on level two which brings me back to canceling this one because i want to open level one so i want to import my or link my CAD drawing only in level one. So just double click level one and then link CAD again. And let's click that current view only. If this is unchecked, meaning you will be able to see your CAD drawing also in other view, like 3D view, section view, and of course the floor plan, which is what I want is I only want this drawing to be on the current view on level one. And then other options here is colors. Uh, you may want to make it invert color if you want, meaning light colors will become dark colors and dark colors will become light colors. Okay. The other one here is if you want to preserve the color. The other one here is black and white, which is what I'm going to use. I want to import all the layers and import units. Okay, um, I'm just going to use here um, auto detect. If for some reason there's a pro uh, problem, if you're using a metric, just uh, use millimeter here or meter. If you're using imperial, you can select inch or fit. But in my case, I'll just use auto detect here. Positioning here by default, it's auto center to center, but there are other options here. So if you are working with other discipline, you are working in a cloud, working with other company. Okay, so you use auto shared, uh, auto by shared coordinates because most likely the project is, the architectural model is set up by shared coordinates. So you just use that one or you can use auto origin to internal origin. But since this is just an exercise, I'll just use auto center to center to place my model at the center. Okay. And that's it for these uh, options. And then I'll just select here open. And there you go. So there's now your uh, link model. Now the next thing that we're going to do is 
let's pin our CAD drawing so that it will not be moved accidentally. So let's select the link model and then let's use here pin. The shortcut is PN if you want. So just pin that and then just click outside and it's now pinned. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is let's tidy up our model here. Okay, right. So because I have here my elevation, it's being overlapped by the, by the link model. So we're going to tidy up that. Okay, so this is our link. So let's tidy up. So let's use window selection. So you pick from the right, left to right like that to select that um, elevation. This is elevation. And then you just move that. Move and then click here and then maybe just place it here. There you go. Okay, and you can select that. And then you can also use the arrow on the keyboard to move it like that. Okay, so it's not tidy because the link model uses here a square. We should have used the other template. But anyway, it's already here. So let me just continue this one right like that. And then let's select this. Let's move it here. There you go. Okay. Okay, so maybe the next thing that you need to do is to open up the CAD drawing. And then after that, just delete the elevation marker here. And then after that, you reload it. So if you want to reload the changes that you have made in your CAD drawing, so once you save the AutoCAD file, Okay, so you need to reload it here in Revit. So what you do is you go to the insert and then um, go to the manage links. Then look for the CAD formats tab. And then there's your um, link CAD. So you click that and then after that just uh, reload. Okay, or you can also select reload from if you want to. If let's say, for example, you change the location of your CAD drawing into different folder, you can select reload from to locate that folder. And then after that, just select OK. And then you will now see the changes on your CAD drawing. OK, so basically that's how you link your AutoCAD drawing. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.